Yo, what's up, guys? New year, first video of the year. If you're watching here the stream, say hello to your future self. If you're watching both, why not? Tier list of LND Net 5s of 2023. I made this video. Uh, I actually checked, I made it in January last year as well. So it's actually. Oh, it's the music. Uh, too loud. So I made this video last year as well. And it's just something fun to check out. Like, okay. Which units did get a certain buff? Which units did get like a certain uh, nerf? Uh, I'm going to mention all of the monster names and the place where I'll place them, so you can actually watch this, watch this as a podcast rather than actually having to watch the video. I also, put all of the monsters in specific timestamps at specific moments. So if you just want to see about your specific LD5, why I placed it there, where do you use them? Because I will name what kind of content it is used. And for that reason, it's just very easy and chill to follow. Um, as you can see, how I'll, I do all of my tier lists, I rather have like the numbers of 100 to like 50 or something. And the main reason I take that over uh, triple S, double S, blah, 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 that kind of stuff is because this makes it very easy for me to say, okay, between 95 and 100, I put another tier of saying, 75 and a half because in the end the tier list is only a relative list of comparing a to b is a higher than b therefore higher tier it's a same as b then b and a are in the same tier but having a triple s.5 or double s.5 doesn't really make sense and this makes it very easy for me to make a very flexible list and therefore i've been doing these numbers since i don't know how long so with that all said, I'm just going to go over all of these units. I hope I put in all of the LD5s. I'm not 100% sure if I'm missing any. I don't think so, but looking at the list like this, it actually looks not that many for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to place all of them in. If I'm missing any of the LD5s, then I'm going to do that in the after edit. That's, that's more or less the thing. So let's just start off like top left we have a sean i know this is the non awakened version sean recently buffed pretty well ching tian dashing is ching tian dashing no it's there so um sean is buffed recently wait i'm actually going to do this without music because i'm going to be distracted by the music myself so let's actually do it like this so sean recently buffed um very strong unit very good in rta mainly i think maybe some people use him in siege offense arena offense is not really shown pve is not really shown so i would say rta wise he's very high up but since he's not that versatile it's not a defense unit i would say a 90. also keep in mind for all of these units this is kind of my overall list for all of the content so like how happy would you be as an overall player about pulling a certain unit. Sure, if you are getting a super uh, good unit. Oh, wait, the top is actually very hard to cut off. So, wait. Okay, I have to make this thing a lot smaller. Maybe like this. Um, so, yeah, if, maybe if you're not an RTA player or not a Siege player or you do or do not care about certain things, then maybe where I place the unit you don't agree, but this is just for me an overall list of playing all content and just looking at the unit that way. Um, so I would say Sean 90 for now, mainly an RTA unit. Zera 2. Zera 2 is slightly different because it's an RTA unit, but not as good in RTA as Sean. It is also a siege defense unit. Uh, it is a siege offense unit, but maybe not that great. Arena offense and defense, not that much used. And um, Zera 2 is actually usable in SF10. So it has a little bit of extra value for being potentially one of the best units in SF10. So I think overall Zera 2, because he's not really outshining anything specifically, where Jean is really outshining in one spot, I put Zera 2 slightly lower, but Zera 2 is kind of a very overall well-balanced unit. Like, if you get a Zera 2, no matter what you play, you will probably use Zera 2, and therefore Zera 2 is 85 for me. Then we have Han. Han, very much an RTA unit, actually specifically only an RTA unit, I would say. You're not going to see him on defense. You're not going to see him PvE. You might see him siege. Siege offense, I would definitely use him. But I would say kind of similar rate as Sean. I, I would say similar rate as Sean. Maybe one below. Um, also, keep in mind that um, I'm aiming this list towards very end game. So in the end, what is end game most of the time? It's RTA, right? So either RTA, siege, 
arena offense maybe or like arena a little bit pve like the fast teams but i would say i'm still pretty rta biased so this list is therefore always also somewhat rta biased um i would say i'm actually gonna put uh han on 85 because i would say han is currently not as good in rta as sean is now we have a chroma and Acroma is something that was used to be in um, RTA, but in RTA, additional damage really screws over Acroma. And in arena defense, most of the arena defenses don't really care that much about an Acroma as well, because you can hit with Kakis, you have certain things that don't glance. Um, therefore, I would say Acroma is currently not that good and not that usable. So. I'm in all honesty going to give Acroma just a 60 for now. Maybe I'm going to put her a little bit li higher later for seeing like what other units. I'm going to put her 65 because I feel like some other units. I can think of two different kind of tiers of units worse than Acroma at this moment. The other one is coming up pretty fast. But um, yeah, I think Acroma is not that useful. Her turn two silence actually silence every other turn right now, if I'm not mistaken, which is nice. It's niche, but it's not super OP or any useful. Uh, Trinity, however, is gonna get a 60 for me. And the only reason she's not at 55 is because she can put her on triple fight as an arena offense or in RTA, that kind of way. Besides that, you're not gonna use her in anything else than just that. But trust me, there's a unit. I think not plural. I think there's one unit worse than Trinity, and therefore Trinity is not at the lowest tier as of this moment. But Trinity, yeah, 60 Trinity is not really... It's, it's one of those units that don't make sense. Okay, well, to be honest, I think actually from here, it's already meme team. So, no, wait, there's actually two units. Now not, not that you mentioned. Zer uh, Zeraph. I think Zeraph has a very high value for me. And maybe that's me personally, but Zeraph you can technically use in RTA. It's not that great. You can use it in Siege Off and Siege Defense. I've seen it being used on arena defense you can use an arena offense and it is the best uh, pve unit in the game so i'm not sure if people would agree with me on that but seraph has so many good things that i actually feel like if i get a seraph i would buy like yo i can use this in so much content that i would even like be close to putting it to 100 so seraph is like if you look purely at rta seraph is not that interesting but seraph has so much potential that I really do like Seraph. Uh, so Seraph for me, 95. Then we go Julian, the Light Vampire. Units, it's, it's, it's struggling finding its spot in RTA. You cannot see it in Arena Offense, Defense. Uh, you're not really seeing it in Siege. Uh, Siege Offense, maybe, but Siege Defense, also not really. So it's one of those units that I would say it's uh, slightly underrated. Slightly? But it's still not good. So um, Julian gets a 70 for me, mainly of being like kind of okay ish in RTA, but it doesn't really do too much. Then we have Grogan. Grogan, uh, one of my units, one of my most units, if not my most units for arena offense. You're not really going to see it in RTA except for Zigbear. He really likes to use it with S2 additional damage and that kind of stuff. Uh, but Grogan, since he's one of the best arena offense units in the game, I'm actually going to put it at 85 because it's not good in RTA. You can use it in uh, Siege Offense, it's no in PvE. But since it's that good in one part of the game, I give it a value to be an 85. If you don't care about arena at all, of course, your, or your Grogan is going to lower on that. Um, Maybe I'm going to put it one down because it's just one arena or like just one part of the game that not everyone cares that much about. So I'm going to put it at Grogan for at 80 for that reason. Cadiz nuts. Eh. Cadiz, um, a unit that I have been underrating at certain points. I have been overrating at certain points. It can be used in PvE. It's very good for uh, solo R5s. It's uh, usable in um pc no wait sf10 oh wait did i mention uh him for sf uh zero two is for pc not for sf my bad but yeah he's just good everywhere and he's not as good in rta but you can pve him you can put him on defense you can put him in offense there's just so many places where you can put cadiz 
And therefore, it's just versatile overall, very good. Then we go on with the Phoenixes. We're starting off with Eludia. Eludia recently, the chicken with the speed buff, or not the speed buff, the, the high, um, high speed base. And it's actually a very interesting unit where it can armor break, deal damage, and be very fast. So you can get very creative on your arena offenses with Eludia. The only issue is I've spoken quite some to some Elodia owners. She has the chance of, she has to strip and she has to place armor break. Otherwise your offense is pretty much failing right away. So there's a lot of RNG towards an Elodia offense in that sense. Technically the best offense in the game is Elodia Lucifer plus two with the Leo. So Leo plus one technically. So it does have potential to be the best in slot for a specific thing. But she's not insanely good at what she does because of the high resistance checks. So I'm going to put her at 75, which is maybe already kind of high. I'm going to put her at 70, I think. What AO would you use with Eludia? I would go something like a, um, if you go Pisama, Eludia, uh, Kali and Leia, that is probably something what I would use. So you kind of need a Leia for that. You kind of want to have your whole team super fast and then go in with all of that. So that's that's something I would do, but it's still hard to outspeed things. You can also place an Asher on the Kali slot, but then you have the issue that you don't have attack buff. So you need something that can do self attack buff. For example, a Light Boomerang. So no way, that's actually a pretty good one. If you go Pisama, Asher, Light Boomerang, and Eludia, I think that would probably be it's very easy to outspeed everything. You have speed buff, you have speed sp scaling damage, and you have self attack buff. And light boomerang doesn't need a um, a uh, what's it called doesn't need a chakram to do full damage potential. So with that, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Isama Bastet. Yeah, the thing is, like, if I would like to use an Elodia, I want to outspeed thirty three lead tritons, and so. Like, if you talk about anything slower, sure, everything can outspeed, even Tiana's can. So I would place her at the potential where only she can do her job, and no one else could potentially do that same thing. So for that, I kind of like that idea. Um, that's OP with Light Bison. Yes, Light Bison will be very good with her. The only issue with Light Bison is Light Bison is pretty slow itself. So... That, that's kind of the issue what I'm looking at with this unit. It's, it's hard to make the perfect team, but once you have a very good team with it, she shines very well. So therefore, I'm going to just put it at a 70. I think. Then we have Jara, and I think Jara is legitimately one of the most underrated LDs, because I think a lot of people would like me to put Jara in 55, which I totally do not agree with. Because Jara is one of the best in slot for uh, Giants B12. It has very good potential for SF10. Uh, you can use it in Siege Offense. It's not good in RTA. Don't get me wrong. It's not good in RTA. You're not going to see it on Defense. You, in Raid, it's also best in slot in Raid, like next to AKDs. So you have a lot of PvE options with Jara. Jara is literally just a PvE LD net 5. And because of that, I give her some value. It's not the best out there, but I give her some value to just being a PvE unit. And I would say Jara 75, which I think a lot of people are not going to agree with me. But Jara, if you put Jara in Siege Offense, I think Jara is pretty much a free win in Siege Offense. If you use, for example, like Jara and then something that gives her another turn, Jara does a lot of damage. Especially against like Nanas you still see in, um, what's it called? In a, a Siege Defense. And it's just overall a nice unit. Say Jara again. Maybe. Okay, next unit, Artemio. Um, Artemio is one of those units that has been a, um, around for the longest time. I think it's a unit that's very good on despair high damage and countering Leos. Arena defense, I don't really see the value of it too much. So for me, an Artemio, it's a nice fifth pick in RTA. And that's actually about it. So for that reason, I'm going to give. Artemio a 65, maybe a 70. Because it's not that great. Then we have Fermion. And Fermion, the only value that Fermion has is that it's a free win in Siege offense. Besides that, 
Maybe if you want a slow clear arena offense and you put it with like a Leo, Feng Yang, Alia, Hermione, it's actually best in slot for that team. So, mm, I don't know. I would say Hermione, it is 100% a free win, but it's only used in one specific context. And that's not the most valuable right now. So, for that reason. Uh, then we have Lima. And Lima is actually, uh, I had her placed in an RTA tier list at 100. They ruined my unit because I placed it in an RTA tier list at 100. The, the strange thing is, uh, no one before I pulled her, no one really abused her on Triple Revenge. And Triple Revenge was just a very toxic, very good build on her. But if you go Triple Revenge right now, it's pretty bad to... It's just not good. Like she's probably better on fire revenge. She's probably better on something else. But she is she's still a good siege offense units, siege defense. I tried to make her work, but she's no longer as good. Um RTA, she is fine, but besides Lima being nerfed, Praha and Juno were buffed. And Praha and Juno are pretty much the hardest counters on Lima itself. So Lima was double nerfed by that. So her sisters were being buffed over her being nerfed. Which made her double worse, but I would still say Lima is a solid 85. Yeah, I would say Lima is an 85. Then we have Laura. And Laura's one of those weird units as well, because 120 base, it's very nice. But you don't really want to put her on the swift set, so therefore the base doesn't work all too well. Uh, you kind of want to put her on Despair, it makes her easy to put on Despair and still be pretty fast. But, I feel like she doesn't do enough. It's, yeah, like, she, she puts the defense buff, and defense buff is something like, how many units actually, that are in meta, that are fast, care about defense buff? It's very mediocre, right? So, for me, and since Laura is only RTA, because you're not gonna really see her in Siege, you're not gonna see her anywhere else, I would say Laura's just a 65 for me because it's just one of those units that I can't. If I have one, I can't really think of a good way to make her work. Then we have Gianna. Um, Gianna's still one of the best um, RTA units in the game. Um, it's usable in. Uh, what's it called? It's usable in Siege offense, Arena offense, not that much. Defense things. She's no longer as good on defense. Like there were a few things that were maybe speed buff for uh, Laura instead of defense, but that would make Laura very good. Yes, but Gianna is very good in RTA. Probably one of the best. But all of the strippers they make have pretty much higher base speed or do something extra what Gianna doesn't do. So her value gets lower than lowered. So for an outspeeding contest, Gianna is no longer your best stripper in choice. Like nine out of ten. For your bruiser stripper, Gianna is probably your best solution. So, um, Siege Offense, yeah, the, the robots they just do more with the pushbacks and they don't care whether you do or do not have will. So, I'm not sure if I might be biased of saying that I put Gianna at an overall 90 for liking her. Because she's just an RTA unit. Siege Offense, she's okay but not insanely good. Siege Defense, she's worth nothing. PvE, she's worth nothing. Arena and that kind of stuff, she's also not worth anything. So it's just RTA, but she's being like more and more outshined about specific things in RTA. But then again, it's Gianna. Can I get away with putting her on 90? I'm gonna put her on 95 because she's still really good at what she does. Then we have Nikki. Uh, Nikki has Siege Defense potential, Siege Offense potential, Arena Offense potential, Arena Defense not so much, RTA potential, uh, PvE, no potential, but that's already a lot of things, so it's really a nice unit. So I would give Nikki a 90, because it's just, it's very versatile. 95? Hmm. Hmm. Well, you don't see her that much in RTA, so the people that do have her, she does have kind of everything, that's true. Hmm. How would you ruin Nikki? I would probably go speed, uh, at least fire will. I would go speed, attack, attack, or speed, HP, attack, or something along that line. 
think she's good, but people still underuse her. Maybe, but maybe that's also a reason to make her more difficult to room because she actually needs very good room quality to make her shine very good. Well, add damage with crit rate. I wouldn't go crit rate on her because her healing also scales from attack and HP, if I'm not mistaken. So I would ignore the crit rate altogether, actually. I've seen Trap uh, Nam Nikki. That is nice as well. Yeah, I would definitely like a Nikki, but I think I'm going to place it at 90. Asima. Asima is pretty much the LD5 Rika. Um, besides that, PvE, very good. Uh, actually, if you get Asima early, it is probably one of the best uh, units that you can get because. You can literally run your dot team of uh, giant speed 12 and all the kind of stuff with an Asima. So Asima has PvE value, very good PvE value. Like if you want to clear TOA, she's so good. Um, but then again, RTA, how good is she in RTA these days? You barely see her unless someone has like a very specific cleave, which doesn't do that well into it. But I would place Asima at 80 because she just has so much value in other places in the game. You can also use her on um, Siege Offense, I guess. Arena Offense. No, actually, her with Arena Offense, if you place um, Speed Lead, Tiana, Asima, Amber, you're going to clear everything. No, I feel like Asima has more, like maybe not the best RTA unit out there, but Asima is very versatile, so I would say Asima 85. We continue with the... Uh, why is Zeratu so high? Zeratu has potential best in slot for um, PC10, which adds some value. You can use him Siege Defense, you can use him Siege Offense, and you can kind of use him in RTA. So it has one of those units that has, and doesn't really shine out in one of the things, but it is usable in a bunch of things. Kraka. Kraka has been more used in PvE right now because of the S2 giving so much uh, attack bar up. I haven't really seen her in Siege Defense, Arena Defense, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not sure, but I think in RTA she's pretty decent. But just decent. Like I'm not good, I'm not sure how good Jara is, or uh, not Jara, uh, Kraka is in... Yeah, like I feel like she's maybe good in RTA, but I'm not sure if she's that good in RTA. So I think I'm gonna put... Uh, Krak at 75 right now. Continuing on with Jaeger. Jaeger, Jaeger, Jaeger. Barely used. Um, no siege defense. Uh, no siege offense. Well, siege offense, maybe. Maybe siege offense. I think uh, 60. The thing is that... Hmm... Mm. It's a good unit with Nana, but Nana has been nerfed that much. So I'm gonna put her at Jager at 60 because you can still use him. There is still he's not good at what you use him at, but you can still use him. There is a unit that you cannot use. And it, it is even worse than that. Like it's legitimately worse. And we're gonna get to that one. So I would say Jager, I'm gonna put it at a 60. I'm not going to put Jaeger at 55, because there's worse LDs to get. And trust me, if you have a Jaeger, you're, you're okay to be sad about that, because Jaeger sucks. Then we have the Chitin the Shun, which is just an RTA unit. And it doesn't shine anywhere else than RTA. I would not use it anywhere else than RTA, but in RTA, it is very good. So that's just literally one of the best. I feel like some people are not used as much these days. Um, but I think it is fine. You can use for Siege Offense. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it at 90 because he's that good at one specific thing. Once a month, UA. Fair enough, fair enough. True, true. Okay, yeah, he has some, he has some potential. There. That is nice. That's nice. Uh, we have Ragdoll, and Ragdoll is clearly just an RTA unit. Some people use him on uh, Arena Defense. Never really seen him in Siege Offense. I think you can't use him in Siege Offense, but doesn't feel that great unless you have like a Pifa Chow combo or something weird like that. But just an RTA unit, and I feel like 95 for Insane Dark Tank. That is actually true. Siege Offense, Dark Tank, 
It's probably one of the best dark tanks because he has the uh, the reflect damage as well. What the fuck, Serath? Serath can be used in every content in the game. So therefore, Serath is 95. It's literally best in slot for PvEing. It is one of best in slots for arena offense. You can use it for uh, siege offense, and you can kind of use an RTA. So for that reason, Serath is that high. I would arguably put Zarath at 100, not gonna lie. Because you can just use it that much. It's not just an RTA tier list. No, no, no. Like, if this was an RTA tier list, a whole bunch of units would be very different. Like, Jara wouldn't be up there. Uh, there, there would be a whole big shift in everything. This is just your, like, how overall can you use your LD5 tier list kind of thing. Um, then we have Dark Monkey. Unit I have for the longest time, I still don't like. I actually feel like you can only use him in RTA properly if you have a Han. It has some potential for Siege Defense. It has been buffed like 3-4 times already. Still don't really see it making work that much. So for me, I would... I guess you can kind of use him in some setups. So for me, Dark Monkey, I guess 80 or 75. Because there's some defense potential in there it has some rta potential in there but the issue is his whole kit is inconsistent for his damage because his s3 is damage from hp his s2 and s1 are damage from attack and the unit is rocking a 600 base attack so the unit is literally terrible for damage it's just a stunning machine on high base speed and it doesn't even have the highest odds of stunning i'm gonna put that at 75 for that stupid reason uh, then we have Shazam, doesn't have any RTA potential, does have Siege Defense potential, Siege Offense potential, pretty good in Siege in general, but besides that it doesn't do anything than just Siege, and not even sure like how good it is in Siege, but at least it has some Siege potential. Uh, Raul is kind of the same thing, but then it also doesn't have too much Siege potential, so Raul is 65 for me and Shazam is 75. Then we have Yeon Hong. Yeon Hong is actually just RTA, but it is literally one of the best in RTA still. Uh, we're currently regaining a speed meta-ish kind of thing, and Yeon Hong is just insanely good with that. So I see like Yeon Hong players, they are skyrocketing their, their win rates, but I think, that, yeah, it's kind of same level as uh, these two. It's just RTA, but it's nothing more. But since RTA is kind of main endgame content, we value it that high for being that good a, as a unit in RTA. I guess if you have one ruined in Siege Offense, you can kind of use it, but I'm not sure how good that would be. Then we have Wooyong. Wooyong is very different because Wooyong is actually one of the best in slots for um, Arena Offense because it's one of the unique units that has a speed buff. Or it has the attack bar boost, attack bar buff, and it also, or the attack buff, uh, say correctly, and also 28 lead. So it is one of best in arena offense. You can use it in RTA, but it's not the best. It's kind of like searching for that one cleave. You're not going to see it in RTA, or uh, wait, not in RTA, you're not going to see it in Siege. But I would say Wu Young has that much versatility for creating options which without a Wooyong you don't have an arena offense, that she becomes very interesting for that. But is she the best in it? Mm, I feel like she, she has good potential. Yeah, I, I would say 85. I would say 85 because she has good potential, but she's not like an absolute insta win on everything. And for RTA, she just has okay value. Same level as Grogan. No, I'm going to put her above Grogan because Grogan has little to no RTA value. Like, very mediocre. Yes, Igbear, it is very mediocre. <laughs> you just want to make it work. <laughs> but, yeah, for that reason, we got to put our 85. We have Nigong. Uh, Nigong, Nigong, Nigong. Used to be good until Wusa was nerfed, and therefore this thing was nerfed as well. Um, we do see it a lot in Siege Defense, but I think it has been kind of figured out in Siege Defense. You're not really going to use it in Siege Offense, so you can see it in Siege Offense, I guess. Arena Offense, Arena Defense. Arena Defense is also not that great. It's good, but it's not that great. So literally, if I switch my Nigong to Nabelio, my defense start performing better in uh, Arena Defense. In Siege Defense, it's kind of there. So it's kind of there, but it's not that good at it, from what I've noticed. 
Uh, we have Wunsa. Wunsa you see sometimes on arena defense, but it's kind of rare. Uh, it's also not that great, I guess. In RTA, it is good, but it has a whole bunch of counters to it. So it is nice. It's niche, but it's just RTA, I guess. And it's not the best at RTA. So for that, but it still has something very specific that it outclasses something that most other units would do. So for that reason, would I give that an 85? No, it's just RTA. I'm going to put Wunsa actually at 80 because it's just RTA. And there's so many good strippers out there right now. So having an LD5 that's only there, like, yo, I'm just a stripper. It's like, yo, I got six other units, like, on the pile with robos and that kind of shit. <laughs> My boy, <laughs> Grogan representing. Grogan is just arena, man. It's, a, it's arena, no RTA. We have Eleanor or Eleanoa. I always mess up these two names. Lipola Queen. Lipola Queen in RTA is actually very good. Uh, it has some of those niche fourth or fifth pick slots in specific teams. I think she does very good in what she should be doing there. I would say it's more of a fun unit than a very good unit. Because what you often see is that you kind of like damage or Juno fucks you up or something like that. It's just RTA. And I think you're not going to see her in Siege. You're not going to see her in your Arena, PV, anything like that. But I would say still fun. Still fun unit, still usable. Good fourth, fifth pick. And it has two up from like other fifth picks. So, yeah. Lydia. Lydia is more of a uh, siege defense. You don't see it. Arena defense just there. RTA last pick very rarely. Very rarely. So it's just a defense unit for Arena. So. And I think she's not even that good in arena defense these days. But she's better than a Chroma, I would say. No, she's kind of, she's same, same, but different, I would say. We have Pontus. Pontus, um, siege defense, not that much. Arena defense, definitely. RTA, definitely. Um, is he insanely good at what he does? No, but he has some good values. So I would say Pontus is, yeah, I would say Pontus at 85. I would actually put her on the same tier as Lima, and often people say like, yo, I'd rather have a Lima and RTA than a Pontus. Yes, but since Pontus also has better potential on arena defense, because he's actually one of the better annoying arena defenses units out there, with good potential of like RNGing your ass on NEM traps and that kind of shit. And Pontus in general, you can pull as a pretty nice NEM trap. So, yeah, I would say 85 for Pontus. That is fair. Yeah, the lead is pretty nice. Now we have Bananaman. Bananaman. It's just... Uh, I've seen people use it in Siege Offense to very good extent. Siege Offense is actually pretty good. Arena Offense... Hmm, I haven't really seen it that much. I do have seen some people in PvE uh, also use it. But I feel like it doesn't really shine out in any of those. Because technically an Astar kind of does what he does, right? But then it can actually kill. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid unit. So, yeah, I would say just a 70. It's just arena offense or a siege offense. And we have Sylvia. Sylvia is still a unique unit for uh, siege defense, but it's just siege defense. Like, do Sylvia owners actually use Sylvia um, on offense? I don't think so. Like, she's good on defense, but she's not insane tier anymore. But by being that unique on siege defense, I would put her on 70 just for that. Then we have the bay. The Bay is kind of like a Jaeger and kind of like a Trinity. It's bad, but you can still use it. Like you can still use it in some kind of cleave, some, some kind of brawl offense, blah, blah, blah. You can actually use the Bay. There is a unit that is worse than the Bay. Trust me on that one. So then we have Wajat, the most inconsistent speed leader in the game because. I actually, for me, recently figured out, or I heard that from people, his arena lead, or his lead is just arena. It's just arena. Whereas Miang, for example, the uh, water sky dancer, is just arena, but it's 28. And that's a four star. 
this unit is so weird and inconsistent for like just a weird lead. So uh, it has some potential for RTA, but it's not great. I didn't know. Yeah, I, I never checked. I always thought that it would make sense if he had 24 overall. Oh, Yang is a guild battle. Okay, it's guild battle, but still, yes, that's that's kind of the thing. Uh, for example, Wu Yong has 28 arena. So that's, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Are you going to put cookies in the list as well? Yes, but cookies are going to get buffed soon. I even put the puppeteers in there. But yeah, I would say Wedget should be 28, maybe should even be 33. Like, by all means, I think Wedget on a 33 would maybe boost him to here or here. But it wouldn't make him like all the way like fucking oh suddenly sick OP shit. I think it would be just good, like pretty good, but it's still not insanely good. So yeah, I would say 70 as an RTA con potential. No, I think just 65. I'm sorry, guys. 65. Mm, then we have Isis. Isis is just your god. Larry in TOA Hell. And besides that, people have used it in RTA to a certain extent, but not good success. So Isis is one of those that I say, like, nah. Arena, even then, like, if she didn't have resistance checks on her S3, I would say, like, yo, Isis is good. But resistance checks, man. I've, see, I've seen Philippity use it from time to time because he really wanted to make her work. She just, man, no, I don't know. There's better options than a unit that only has an S3. Like, even our cool times are long on that shit. So next off, we have Nefties, which has potential in TOA. It has potential in Siege. It has potential in RTA. It has potential in defense. Not that much, but kind of-ish. Um, so, yeah, I think Nefties is one of the few. Maybe the only one, I would say, so far uh, that is worth 100. Because Nafti's like literally, I would arguably say it's my best pull that I made on my account. No, I'm actually pretty sure Nafti's is the best pull I made on my account. Because she's just so much more versatile than Gianna is. Like any of those units on the list, they have something they're good at. But Nafti's is good at pretty much most things she does, if not the best. You can't, they nerf her. Okay, yeah, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. Nafti's is shit. Nafti's 55. Don't nerf my unit. Fuck, I said I'm never gonna put my own unit at the 100 list. <laughs> She's counted by Juno. She's counted by Juno. 95. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> don't, don't, don't nerf that shit. Fuck you, people. <laughs> okay, no, I have to put her at 100. If they nerf my unit again because I put it at 100, it's not RTA, so you don't have to nerf it, okay? Don't fuck me like that again. Nafti's 100. Evan lurking here. Evan has no power. Korea has the power. Eleanor, do people really use Eleanor in arena offense? I wouldn't really use Eleanor in arena offense. That's, that's kind of my thing. Like, she's good in RTA. I'm not sure how much she's used in siege offense. It's crazy in siege offense. Eh, may, may, maybe for siege offense. Okay, let's. Let's say if people actually use her in um, Siege Offense, I would one up Eleanor. So 85 for her. Because I feel like she's very good in RTA, she's just not that useful anywhere else. But if you say like Siege Offense, she's good, I'll put her on her. You have Oberon. Oberon got a good value buff because of Shizuka and Seimei. Um, Siege Offense. One of the best, I would say, or no, not necessarily one of the best, but very good potential. It's one of the best one shotters in the game. RTA, you don't see it as much, but you can also make it like a Nam trap. You can make it swift. You can make it like a bunch of things. So uh, technically, if you want to make a uh, single target nuke arena offense, he's one of your better picks as well. So I would say overrun 85 because it has some versatility in doing multiple things. Uh, then we have Nyx. Nyx is kind of a wild card for me because I don't value Nyx that good in RTA. I would say um, Nyx is one of the best units currently in C or uh, Arena Defense. Siege Defense, you're not going to see it. But Arena Defense, because it can have the potential to not land your armor breaks on a pretty annoying rate. 
So just being one of the best in arena defenses and being okay-ish in RTA from here and there, I would say 85. Nyx makes Bond go up in one turn. Yeah, so technically you could use it in offense as well, but I don't really think in AO he's that good. But he's literally one of the best AD units in the game, and just for being good in AD, I'm going to put you 85. I'm not sure if I would put you 90 just on being good AD and not that crazy anywhere else. Then we have Tian Lang. Uh, Tian Lang is one of the best RTA units. It's the best counter pick out there because uh, Gurkha's nerfed. It is one of the best units in Siege defense. It is one of the best units, if not the best unit in Arena defense. Uh, you're not going to see it in PvE. You're not going to see it in offenses that much of Arena. But since it's the best at three things, Tian Lang gets a straight up 100 for me. Because it's so exceptionally good at what it does. It doesn't have to have all content being good at. So therefore, Tian Lang definitely 100% for me. It's one of the most crazy pulls you can make. Uh, we have Mi Ying. Uh, Mi Ying, the Dark Panda, is one of those units that I would say is a 100% win on um, Siege Offense. It's not that great. I've seen it being used in RTA. Like, if you make it specifically in RTA to counter a Leo or some slow bruiser teams, it was very good at countering Molly uh, back in the days. So it does have some potential against like very heavy support teams and just soloing the whole shit. Because it has built in Vampire, if I'm not mistaken. So I think this is one of those underused units that I would say is actually not that bad. But it is not crazy good. So I would say 70. No, I actually feel 75. Would I feel so? Yeah, you can also put it in Siege Defense. So, especially in lower ranks, this unit is very annoying. Like higher ranks, I guess people kind of snipe it, insta-kill it, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I would say Miyang 75. I feel that's fair. We have Celia. Um, Celia is sometimes used in arena defense. I'm not sure to how good of an extent. Uh, definitely a hundred pull just to 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 mess with Acock. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's not that great of a unit. Also for RTA, it is actually I've seen Pinkroyd use it, and that was actually a uh, he used it against Marsha, and this thing is actually countering Marsha. Really badly. Like, insanely good counter against Marsha. So, but... I would say I think a 70 is okay for Celia. It's usable, it's not insanely good. You can... If you put very good runes on it, you can kind of force her and make it work that way. But it's not insanely good. It's just okay-ish. We are going on with the Light Polar Queen. Or not Light Polar Queen. I even name it Light Polar Queen. <laughs> Light Pony! Eleanor, I think. I hope, I pray, I don't know. Um, RTA, not that much used. I'm not even sure if people use this thing over Amelia in Siege Offenses. I don't really think so. I would say she has some potential to being used, but... Nah. I don't know. I don't know. Viva Chell, however. Viva Chell, I would say, has very interesting offenses. Both Siege, RTA and everything. So, I think since she's used everywhere in offense, I feel like she's okay. She's not crazy good, like 9 out of 10, her potential's there, but it doesn't really work out that well, but, yeah, I would say. Yeah, like, FIFA Gel leo combinations, they're niche, they're nice, but it's not like, there's a lot of combinations that can one-shot something. Like, Leo, FIFA Gel, Josie, yeah, it's, it's very nice, it's very nice, but is it like the end almost OP thing ever? I don't know. 85 is getting kind of crowded. It is, but we can even have two lines. I don't care. Uh, we have Alexandra. Potentially one of the best defense units in the game. No, two, no not, not one of the best. It's a good defense. She, she's high up there in arena defense. Siege defense, you're not going to see her. Siege offense, I would probably assume people use her. Arena offense, people you don't. RTA, she's actually very good. Uh, but the weird thing is, there's... I can only name like about one or two players that use her very well. And that really means you have to draft your whole draft around her. Or it's just a fifth pick. So for that reason, I think I'll place her at 80. But maybe I should place her at 85 as well. Mm. No, I think just 80. I think she's good, but she's kind of work around the ball as well. 
We have Leona. Um, Leona used to be okay-ish to good in RTA. Don't really see her in any defense things. I would say Leona 70 for me, because a lot of things, like before she was, before artifacts, she was very hard to kill. Like a lot of teams could not kill her. Currently, even if you have like a max stacked, uh, like 70 up, 70 down, and a Juno on good additional damage, you're pretty much going to break the shield on like the last hit. So she also loses to like Marsha's, Miles, that kind of shit. Miles really counters so hard. So yeah, she used to be good, but she found a lot of counters. And we have Volantis. Volantis, arguably one of the best units in RTA. Um, decent unit in Siege defense, decent unit in Arena defense, and therefore 95 Volantis for me. Because it's in those three things, it's very good. It's, it's very solid at what it does. So, Arena defense, maybe not that much, but I still see some Volantis perform pretty well. But this thing is like super high up in RTA. Then we have Patar, Pater, or whatever you want to call it. The sad brother that doesn't do anything and is super hard counted by anything that re uh, resets your cool timers. And then we added a Changpeng, and then we added a uh, Oliver, and then this thing just got sad. I think this is literally one of the worst LD5s right now in the game because it's just super hard countered in the only content it was good at, and it was, that was RTA. Because you're not going to see this in any offense, defense that much. It's just not great. So, yeah. 65. Mm, yeah, okay. These are exceptionally bad, though. We have Geldnir. Geldnir is actually somewhat of a rare counter um, to some RTA teams, so Geldner in RTA is actually not bad. Yeah, no, I'm actually gonna put the tar in here. I'm not gonna put Geld. Geldner used to be 55 at some point, but Geldner is actually not bad. Like Siege defense, Geldner is pretty good. Um, arena defense, you can actually use Geldner. And you can put Geldner in specific fifth picks in RTA. So I wouldn't say Geldner is like the best just because of the lead, but I would say Geldner does what Geldner does. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad. But yeah, I actually put Patar back on 60. And Geldner 80. Then we have Hurtite. Hurtite has pretty much the best potential in Rift Raids. And uh, th this tier list is not just RTA. It's everything. Everything. Um, but Geldnir, yeah, um, Siege Offense, Siege Defense, sometimes kind of outdated. Best potential in Rift Raids, that's, uh, I'm not really sure if people still use this thing in R5. No, this list is for everything. It's PvE, it's RTA, it's Siege, uh, it's Arena, Offenses, Defense, for all quadrants, everything. So otherwise, a Seraph would never be this high, for example. But still, I'm... Fairly biased towards RTA because that's the end game content that everyone kind of works to. It's either that or Siege or something like that. So, for that reason, you see some weird picks like high in there. How is he in Monster Subjugation? I don't know like how good this thing is in Monster Subjugation. Is he very good against the boss in Monster Subjugation? Because if he is, I actually feel like I would put him 85. Because he's just. It's, it's a PvE thing. Well, I would put him 85 in general just because he's. He's. Arguably the best in PvE for like a whole bunch of stages and things. He carries subjugation. Yeah, so he carries like rift raids, he carries like R5s, he carries a lot of things that other units can't do. So Aerotide gets 85 for that. Uh, then we have Bella. Bella is a very good unit in. Um, I would say, well, people use it on Siege Defense as well. Not sure how good it is on Siege Defense. It is okay-ish. It's a very good unit in RTA, but since the coming of Dominic, Dominic kind of does the same as Bella, so therefore she kind of loses some value. So, but I still think she has good potential, but it's just RTA. Siege offense and that kind of stuff, I'm not really sure if you would see it that much. So, for just being RTA and not being insanely OP in it, I'm going to put her at 8. The only thing she does what Dom does on this trip. Fair enough, fair enough. 
What's your basis for Zeratu? Uh, Zeratu is the best in slot for uh, PC10. And you can use it both in Siege Off and Siege Defense, and you can use an RTA. So there's a bunch of places you can place it in. Whereas, for example, a Bella you can't really place on defense. It doesn't have any value in uh, PvE. Whereas Zeratu has some value in PvE as well. Then we have Lucifer. Lucifer is the best arena offense unit in the game. But it doesn't do that much more than... No, wait, it actually... Hmm. It's arguably one of the best units in PvE content as well, because Lucifer enables you to clear out your giants and that kind of shit as well. It is the best option for arena offenses. You can kind of use it in RTA, but it doesn't shine that well in there. But since it has two places that he's absolutely the best at, I'm going to put Lucifer at 100. And it may look really weird for, to have a tier list of like Nefty stealing Lucifer, but he has just has so much potential of doing something that other units cannot. And the other two also have that. And therefore, I feel like he's fair in line with those units. Because I can't really put Lucifer at 95 because Lucifer enables so much more than Seraph actually does. Because with Lucifer, you don't need Seraph. If you have very good runes, you can use Lucifer to clear with your Julie. 97 and a half? No, I'm going to put Lucifer at 100 because PvE clearing fast is just cool as well. Best arena offense in the game. Yeah. Uh, Monkey, uh, some people also use it in TOA. So it's one of the better TOA units. Uh, people also use it in like Labyrinths, that kind of shit. And you can use it in Siege offense as well. Not the same? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll make the concession. Since that many people ask for it, we can do the tier list in between. You're going to be the first in between a tier. What do you say about Sean? One of the best RTA units in the or one of the better RTA units in the game. And you can use the Siege offense. And it's, it's just very good since Reason buff, I would say. Dark Demon. Dark Demon is also being hit hard by all of the resetters in the game. Can't use it on defense. Can't use it in offenses that much. It's just an RTA unit, and it's not doing that RTA part that well. Two guys. No, there's actually... Okay, there's two guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Speak up. Speak up if you agree or disagree. Because I listen to the people. Dark Demon is also for Giants. Fair point. He gets a 1-up for Giants because he's technically slightly better for Giants. Belial does a slightly worse job, but not that much better. Um, yeah, like in the end, it's my biased opinion. Like, you don't have to agree. <laughs> like, on many of those things, you don't have to agree. Narsha. Uh, Narsha's good in RTA. I wouldn't say absolutely OP. Uh, Narsha's very good in siege defense, very good in siege offense. Is used on arena defense from time to time. Don't think it's used in arena offense. But that's a very versatile unit already. And I think she kind of fits the 95 and a half. Because. A bunch of what Narsha has up from these units, like these units are all good in RTA. But she's good in RTA and good on defense. And she's good in like a bunch of other things. So, yeah, I think that the only issue is like her getting resistant. That's, that's pretty much the... Yeah. No, I would say, I would say this is fine. I think Lucifer deserves less because you need Leo to work in PvP. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, so uh, 90 or uh, yeah, 97 and a half board. No, sure. 97 and a half. Then we have Sianna. Sianna is definitely one of those units one buff away from being good uh, because her S3 is literally worse than Savannah S3 by a long shot, a very long shot. The only thing up she has from Savannah is Elemental Neutral. But that is about it. Like, I've tried to make this unit work a long time, but I feel like she's just... She doesn't do enough. Like, her S3, the little bit of damage that she adds, if she just had speed scaling damage, she already would do, like, twice as much damage as she would do right now. So, I would say Sienna is not that great. What is the reason for Kraka? Uh, she's being more and more used in RTA. 
How do you compare it to Water Poseidon? Uh, Water Poseidon has a different S2, but no, like it's it's the difference is in the S2. Like Sian has a better S2 for single target killing, and but Sian has like a ten times worse S3 because you can glance because you uh yeah so many things. It's just her S3 is really terrible. If she had like a solid S3, she would probably end up here or here. Because you can put her on defense and a whole bunch of things. Well, kind of because, be, because you can put her on defense, I'm going to up her to 75. Yeah, I use it for like fast cleaves and siege as well. But if I just place the Poseidon in that same team, Poseidon would probably do same or better. So, yeah, it's you might as well put a fucking Zyros in there. Like that, there's so many options that you could put in there that probably work like similar or same as that she does. Uh, then we have Hanwo. Hanwo is a very interesting unit because it can actually ignore all of the passives. So for arena offense, very good potential. The only issue is that the base attack and the multiplier on the skill 3 is somewhat low. It's hard to make this thing hit enough. And therefore I'm actually going to lower it because the only Hanwo you can actually arguably make that one shot is a Hanwo with a Leo setup. Or a humble with a Konami or whatever, like full boost setup. So his, his multipliers are really bad. Yeah. So for that reason, I'm actually going to. I cannot put that same rank as Grogan, like for sure not. Or that's not. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's humble. On Mook, of course. Um. Then we have Mukwo. It's one of those units a lot of people like. I do know that Obaba really likes these units, but I'm not sure. Like. I don't know, like, he has nice base speed, he puts threat state, threat state is not bad, but I have yet to see someone use it in the potential where it's actually really good. And sure, while having a Han, Mukwo gets a lot more uh, usability, but I feel like if I would get a Mukwo, I would not be too happy about it, like, you know, honestly, like, I'm not sure how you guys would feel like about getting a Mukwo, but for me, it would be like, mm, yeah, okay, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's too inconsistent. I would even put Mukwo on 70. Like, he's usable in some extent, but would have him ruined, but I don't know. So then we have Talisman, and Talisman, I would actually say, is an underrated unit. Um, because you can make some potential offenses where you don't need a attack buff. So you can have Siege Offenses, you can have Arena Offenses. I would just keep it to Siege and Arena Offense. I wouldn't really put in RTA. So therefore, it's just going to be over here. But it does... Yeah, it, it has good potential for some Siege or Arena Offense, I would say. It does some potential interesting things. It's not on Grogan level. Then we have Fancliff. Fancliff is not used as much. I think some Cleaves in RTA, some Cleaves in Siege, maybe. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But I would say Bancliff is kind of like on this weird thing. What offense would you use with him? Uh, with Talisman? So Talisman, I would probably, if I had an if I had all units in the game, I would definitely pair him up with Eludia. That would be the most interesting pair. So if you go Asher, Eludia, and then Talisman, uh, uh, Pisama, it's probably the best high speed uh, team you can make. But then again, you need two LD5s to make that team work. Um, other things, you could actually pair it with, like, Gemini. So, technically, you could go... Wait, does that whole team work? Yeah, you could go, like, Gemini Frigate, Leo Talisman. So, th there's some, like, weird options like that. You could even go for a setup with, let's say, a Lure. Um, so, th there's a bunch of options for that. Yeah, if you go uh, Gemini Frigate... Leo to Talisman, you can outspeed a lot of things, and you don't need a tech buff in that team as well. So I would say that team is pretty nice. I've seen similar team can work with Seraph too. But he's not that crazy good. Um, now we have Crack. The only person I see using Crack is Jinyao. He used it to a pretty good extent. I think he's one of those interesting buffers where you can make some arena offense with a speed buff, uh, attack buff, increase, but his base speed is just so lacking. 
So for that reason, I would say 75. Like you can make him work, but you need some crazy, crazy speed to make him work. Uh, then we have the unit that used to be here in RTA and is no longer there in RTA. <laughs> but is it good anywhere else? Crack needs 33 lead. Crack on 33 lead would be on crack. But Gurkha, how good is Gurkha right now? I feel like if you place Gurkha into a team with full supports, Gurkha can still do fine. But Gurkha, I think Gurkha, like how much did he heal? Like 20% was a crazy number. Make it 10 or make it 5. Make it, make it freaking 3%. Like make it, have him heal something. Because I arguably feel like Gurkha with healing, with one turn per folk, is probably better than the Gurkha we have right now. So I feel, yeah, he can work against units that do no damage on S1. That, that's the only thing it can do right now, and therefore it has some potential, I would say. Uh, same A. Same A is a free win against very specific things in Siege, but you don't see it too much. It's a free win to very specific things in RTA, but you don't see it too much. So I would say same A has some potential. Like it's it's one of those niche fifth picks you don't pick too often, but if you pick it, it is probably going to win you the match. So therefore she has good value for what she does. Uh, Doman, we actually see some people use Doman on Siege defense. I'm not sure if it's that great because you can just put it a light unit against it and it will start focusing that. But she does ignore things like Molly kind of ish with her third skill because she kills and that kind of shit. RTA, you don't really see it all too much. Um, hmm. She has some potential here and there, but I would actually say Doman's set. Would I? Or 75? Nah, I think I think Doman. Nah, Doman's 75. Doman's 75. Because I would earlier pick her than most of the units here on this list. Ongniyuki, one of the best. Yeah, Curse of Death cannot be clanned, so you have to kill her to get rid of Cur Curse of Death. So, yeah, the, the thing is, like, if her S3 was irresistible, she would be, like, straight up here. So, yeah, ir irresistibility is the bullshit. That, that, that's definitely a thing. But then again, a lot of units kind of struggle with that. But yeah, this. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Resistability, RNG, I don't like it. 70 for Doma. Fine, final count. Okay, then we go for Ongniyuki. Ongniyuki is one of the best potentials in arena offense. You can make very nice arena offense with Ongniyuki. Just put him full fatal. He has crazy base speed. Uh, he does a lot of fucking damage. It's RTA, arguably one of the best units as well. Uh, Siege offense, good unit. Siege defense, good unit. Arena defense, I've seen it being used. Hmm. So it's definitely a 97 and a half, but would it be a hundred? Because you can also use it in PvE. Mm, well, how much in PvE? You can use like T-Way, that kind of stuff. But would you use it anywhere else than just that? Lacking good skin. Not really PvE. Yeah, not like dungeon PvE, but if you talk about like labyrinths, if you talk about uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, let, let's drag him one down because it's not one of the best units in the defense. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Then we have Dorothy! 55! We found her! We found the 55, boys! We found her! She's so bad! She is so bad! She literally is so fucking bad! And then they decided to make her even worse of not killing the enemy team. She kills your team. Like, fuck. Like, that whole idea of nuking something and then destroying HP. Like, if my Grogan nukes something, it's dead. If a Humble nukes something, it's supposedly dead. If anything nukes anything, it's dead. Dorothy has such shit multipliers that it's not dead, and then you destroy HP for things that should have been dead. She's like the whole idea of her nuke and then destroying HP is just absolutely dumb. Like it literally reminds me, I've told this story before, I'm gonna tell it again in a short version. It reminds me of an uncle that always had, came up with like the most crazy stories like ever, and I, I have no clue where he came from. So at some point he was saying like, yo, I got this perfect like business plan. It's like, okay, what's up? Tell me. He's like, yo, I'm, 
I built this shelter for like nukes and um, there's going to be a nuclear war and I'm going to go in that shelter. I'm like, okay, what is that a business plan? It's like, no, 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 wait, I'm not done. I'm not done. After like the nuke and everything is gone and shit, I'm going to get out of the bunker and sell washing machines. What the fuck for? Everyone is fucking dead. Like, yeah, no, I'm gonna sell washing machines. <laughs> Dude, what's the fucking point? Everything is fucking dead. It's supposedly fucking dead. Where the fuck are you gonna sell washing machines? That That's Dorothy. That is Dorothy. Like, fuck, man. How do you come up with such a dumb idea? <laughs> like, fuck me. Oh, man. Okay, let's continue on. Kiki, the one in the family that's actually good. Insane siege defense unit. Potential goods, arena defense unit, RTA not used as much, but I would say Kiki 90. Because Kiki is that good in... I would say Kiki is the best, together with Tian Leng, best siege defense units in the game that you can have right now on 5 star. And she's just very versatile. And she is definitely like a worthy fifth pick. Like if you don't draft, if you have a draft that's not countering her, you slap it in fifth pick. That's good. Like... Inter-server stuff. She's good. She's good. Uh, we have Daniel. Team Daniel with the shoes. I, the only person I've seen Daniel making work had a light monkey next to Daniel. That's the only time I've seen Daniel being good. Besides that, I've pretty much never seen people use Daniel. And i never seen him being good. <laughs> so, sorry Daniel65 for me. Daniel's just... Terrible. You have Jackson on the other hand. Jackson is a nice fifth pick against things like... Uh, I would actually more counter pick it than force pick it with people. So some people say like, oh, I just picked Jackson and a Ragdoll and a Verdi Hill, blah, 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 that kind of Gucci stuff. It kind of makes sense, but I would say Jackson, you just pick Jackson against the Tableau, for example. Yes, exactly. You pick Jackson against the CP. Like those kind of things make Jackson good, but if you just force pick it, it's not great. So good counter pick where it's just a passive totem. <laughs> like besides the passive, it's not going to do that much more. It maybe it's like kind of same A level. Yeah, it's kind of same A level. Like if it's, it is pretty much a must ban. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's literally like same A. It's a must ban in this perfect draft, but it's probably going to get banned. <laughs> Yeah, his stun is not consistent. I feel like he deserves a consistent stun. Miles doesn't, but he deserves a consistent stun. Daniel getting the speed lead from Oliver. That would be that would make Daniel viable, yes. I think it would have almost made sense if Daniel had speed lead and Oliver did it. Yeah, then again, who am I? Then we have Emma. One of those units, or is it Emma? Ella. Ella, not even Emma. Ella is one of those units if you say, oh, I pulled Ella, and their reaction is, who? That already means like how good a unit is. Like if you say like I pulled this in this unit and people go, who? That, that's pretty much how bad she is. She's like a math, but worse. So I feel like she's straight up 55. Yeah, I can't think of anything better. I think she needs more company and that's a Maya. Because Maya's just as bad. Like that, she's literally Nora with a useless passive. <laughs> like, um, what? <laughs> She's, I don't know. How is Daniel better than Jaeger? It has some potential if you have like a perfect setup for it. Okay, then we have um, Benedict. Benedict is everything that Dominic. No, wait. Yeah, Benedict should have been Dominic. I'm here for Shuntir. Oh, that's, that's gotta be good. Um, but yeah, no, that's just. Yeah. 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 yeah it's. Benedict is. If Dominic would be 80 or 85, this thing is like. 70? I don't know. Game make Trinity 65. For what reason other than you can use her with triple fight? Uh, Maximilian. Maximilian is very fun for... You can make some specific arena offense cleaves. Uh, you can make some siege offense. Siege defense, not that much. 
Um, RTA is actually one of the most spammable net fives in their specific team being good. I would say Maximilian is 90. I wouldn't say, is Maximilian that good to be like, well, technically it's like a Nefties ish. You can use it in PvE as well. At least for like labyrinths and those kind of things. But then again, Nefties is so fucking consistent, whereas Maximilian can derp his ass off. Yeah, I would say 90 for Maximilian because the uh, the cleave that it's used in, it's spammable. But then again, it's also very counterable and you, you're not that um, flexible in your draft. So then we have Shun and Glorious, you tell me. Fair or no fair? I, I feel like, like literally the unit was buffed and then I've never seen it because it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, all this unit needs is S3, irresistible, and an extra proc. Like, that's... I don't know. That's... Yeah, I don't know, they're just... Meme. I feel this is fair, right? These are sometimes used memes, and these are just straight up memes. Like, you're not gonna use this shit, man. You're, you're straight up not gonna use this shit. You have Ritsu. Ritsu was also buffed recently, and I still haven't seen it. Old memes, new memes. Kinda true, kinda true. Ritsu is okay. Ritsu is somewhat okay-ish. Um, but is it good? I don't think it, I've seen people use it on defense. I've never seen it in RTA. I've never seen. Uh, I don't know. Why is Zeratu 85? Uh, Zeratu is 85 because it's very versatile. Because it has PVE implications, it has RTA implications, it has siege offense and defense implications. So, uh, Zeratu being best in slot for one dungeon kind of makes him somewhat interesting over like other things already. What does Ritsu even do? Like, to be honest, <laughs> I can barely tell you. Like, I think it's at some point, like, it takes someone's shit, and then when they take a turn, they get stunned or some shit. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't even know what the fuck he does, like, barely. <laughs> but I feel that he, st he steals a turn with the S3. Yeah, something like that. Like, yeah, no, okay, whoa, right. I think I fought it in uh, Siege once or twice, and then it did nothing, and then I was still confused why it did anything. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I guess about here, totally about here. Ritz is really interesting. Wait, what would you guys say for, for Ritz? I don't have him. I never seen him. I actually have no fucking clue. Like, I'm not going to lie. You, you guys take it on this one. I would say 65 or 70, maybe 75, 70 to 80. What do you guys say? Sixty, seventy, sixty, 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 sixty-five, sixty, sixty-five, sixty. Hmm. Hmm. I would say seventy. I think. I think he's underused. I think he could be used, but he's not great. And then again, everything that's in the seventy is kind of not used as much. Now wait, the units that are in here, I've seen from time to time, Ritsu, you never fucking see. This tier list is not RTA, folks. Yeah, it's general tier list, because otherwise, uh, Zeratu wouldn't be that high, Seraph would never be this high, Lucifer would never be this high. Um, so it is somewhat focused towards RTA, but everything is included. Uh, Nikki is high because you can use her Siege offense, Arena offense, technically. Um, it's not just RTA. Like, if this was just RTA, Nikki would probably be lower. Uh, but because it's everything, she has very good usage and everything. Lucifer is very high up because it's one of the best things in PvE for dungeon farming. Um, you can use it with very uh, good... It's, it's also the best arena offense unit. It's just good in a whole bunch of things. Why will Young not 100? Because you don't see it in Siege. And in RTA, it's not as impressive as well. So then we have Veronica. Veronica is just RTA. Like, I, I've seen some people use Veronica Siege Defense. I have seen Veronica in uh, Arena Defense, Siege Defense. 
So just RTA, she's still like absolutely god tier, but I would say probably 95, maybe 97 and a half. Because technically, I would use her, if I had her, I would probably use her in offense as well. I, w I could think about offense that could work with like her and Amber. Now I'm going to put her 95. 95. Like the S2 of her is very powerful. And because of the S2, I would use her in uh, Siege, I would use her in Arena, I would use her pretty much everywhere. Considering how insanely rare these units are, they, they should be way better. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but I think if every LD unit would become OP, you would only see LD units everywhere. Kind of. Kind of. Then we have Destiny, which I would say Destiny is the coolest unit in the game, but it is not the best unit in the game. She's kind of on level with, I would say, the 85 mark. I haven't really seen her on defense, though. No, maybe she's 80. Maybe she's 80. It's not really used, but then again, she can one-shot a Marshall. That's insane. Like, that's, that's crazy. And the only issue is with, I see with Destiny, she's very hard to room. She's insanely, insanely hard to room. Because you need a lot of attack to actually make your S2 ignore defense. You need a, um, what's it called? You need enough speed. You actually kind of want to be like Vio or something like that, but there's no way you're going to make that work. So, yeah, you need good crit rate. You kind of want crit damage. She can one-shot a lot of things, but she requires a lot of stuff. Yeah, so for that reason, because it's that hard to use, I give her an 80. Now we have the Light Hollyberry, which is like an Artemil, but worse. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. The question is, is she a meme that is sometimes used? Or is she just full on meme? No, she's sometimes used. I could use her in Siege offense. Like, I would definitely use her in Siege offense. Siege offense is definitely the only place I would place her. But besides that, like, if you run, like, everyone is running tractor and bullshit, right? She's technically like a tractor kind of unit. So I could make that work, I guess. Like, imagine having an LD5 that's as good as a tractor. But the, the thing is, all of those puddings and cookies have the most potential to be buffed. So she is very likely to be buffed within now in like two three, uh, two, three months, I guess. But I would say this. Then we have the Dark One, and Dark One is kind of the same level. That's the one that does AoE armor break and then gives invisibility for two turns. And it's just like one of those things like... It's, it's not Dorothy level of stupid, but the combination is also like, I don't know, like, I like to go to the shop and I saw washing soap with tennis rackets. Like, why? I'm like, I don't know, it's a good combination, right? Yeah, that's like, if it gave two turn immunity, nice, invisibility, why? Like, you can make a shit weird Katarina comp or something. I don't know. She's weird. I could make her usable, but she's weird. Then we have the light one. <laughs> and please, guys, go to your game right now and read the skill on the light one third skill. It's stupid as fuck. Like, holy shit. It literally says it's going to revive with a little HP. Bro, what the fuck is a little? Is that 1, 5%, 3%, 3 HP, 1 HP, 15, 500? It's mean 1 HP. How is a little one? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. That's... She's, she's, she's straight up bad. She has potential to be good. I think... Does she have the S2 that shields or does she have the S2 of Oblivion? I think she has the S2 that shields. The S2 of Oblivion, if they give it one turn less of Oblivion, or one turn less on the cooldown, she, uh, they would be pretty nice on like that whole family that has the Oblivion skill. But the shield? I don't know, man. Like, this whole skill is just terrible. Dark One, however, I feel like the Dark One has quite some potential. It's, it's fighting the low base speed, but I do think, like, having Oblivion and a Stripper and a uh, speed decrease and a slow in one kit is actually pretty niche. It does need something slightly extra to become really good, but it is pretty niche, I would say. 
Then we have the light and dark puppeteer. And this is just a straight up gamble for me. Because A, I don't really know what they do yet. And B, I think they're not that great. But light puppeteer, um, I would say a Nemtrap. That's probably his only thing. Light puppeteer being a Nemtrap. But is he good as a Nemtrap? Light is pretty good, I th you think? I don't know, like... I would say Light Puppeteer, but best I would give him like 75 or 70. Uh, overall usage. Overall use, including everything. So for me, Light Puppeteer, I would say it's just... Under, is it underrated? I don't know, like Light Puppeteer, it's definitely a gamble for me. I would say it's like a 70. And then we have the Dark Puppeteer and it goes straight into me. Because the Dark Puppeteer is a Patar, but worse. Uh, oh yeah, wait, wait, Light Puppeteer is attack by increase attack, yeah, so, wait, this thing is pretty much, the Light Puppeteer is everything that the Dark Bounty Hunter 2A would be. Like, read the skill of the Bounty Hunter 2A, or a, just a normal Bounty Hunter, if they make it a 2A, it would pretty much be this. So, yeah, I guess you could use it as a NEM, a NEM counter, but People know it's an M counter then, right? I don't know. I would give it a 75, but best. But that's that's taking the best of best of options, I guess. Dark one just feels straight up bad to me. I could be very wrong, but Dark one feels bad. Like I have no clue how you want to use that. That's is it super OP? Tell me. Because I feel like you just remove the stun thing, right? It's, not that great. Like, unless someone tells me that the Dark Puppeteer is actually legit. I don't mind placing it any higher, but... Leona should be next to Chroma. No, I feel like Leona can be more used in uh, Arena of or uh, Siege Offense. No? Yeah, Siege Offense. Siege Defense. Meh. Siege Offense, I guess. Yeah. Seals where to see Fermion. Fermion is good. Fermion is like actually a free win in Siege. So not, nothing more than that, but that's just that. Um, I have a bunch of 90 plus. But keep in mind, boys, for this whole tier list, um, I made this tier list, and I would say everything above 75 is pretty usable. Like even 70 tier, I would definitely use. The moment we're getting to 65 tier, 65 tier, I would still use those units. The moment we get to meme tier, that is where you are like, okay, this unit is just in storage. So legitimately, if you have units and you're saying like, oh, my unit is like super low on this tier list, I have like three units in 70, does not mean that your units are bad. These units are definitely usable. They're just not super OP in like multiple quadrants or they're not, they do everything like kind of okay-ish. They're just not insanely OP. Whereas, like, if you're, like, in this area, you have multiple quadrants, multiple, uh, like, multiple good things in there. But, like, do not feel discouraged if all of your LDs are, like, around here. If you're, all of your LDs are in here, however, yeah, you can complain. <laughs> you can complain if you're, if you're, like, half of your LDs are in the meme list, which there are some people. There are some people. Wait, let, let's see for me. So I have one over here, one over there. Um, I have one over here, one over there, 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 and then there. And then, oh wait, this one. So I'm actually, I can't complain, to be honest. So all of my LDs are pretty much 75 plus. Can't complain. Can't complain, I guess. No, I have none of the actual real shitters. Juggernaut, UOP, you got Palantis. No, actually, I, I can consider myself, looking at this tier list, I can consider myself pretty lucky not pulling pretty much like the lower tier that much at all. So yeah, this is where I'm going to end the video. This tier list is biased. Honey, any tier list is biased because it's made by one person or multiple people that have a certain bias towards whatever. It, any tier list is biased. <laughs> It is my opinion, with a little bit of the opinion of the chat, but it's definitely my opinion. So if you would say, 
Suck my socks, say this toilet is fucking shit and I disagree with everything. <laughs> you are very much allowed to disagree with my opinion. That's the point of opinions. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end the video. Video is already pretty lengthy. And I got a rewatch to put all of the timestamps in that stuff, which is always a pain in the butthole. But yeah, that's uh, the end of the tier list. And I'll, uh, in the YouTube video, I'll also put a link to like the tier list and that kind of stuff. Wait, I actually want to do one more thing. Let's see where I have it. I want to compare the tier list to the tier list I made last year. But I don't have the actual picture of the finished tier list anymore. So I'm going to have to use my video from last year. Oh, so I see my face twice. Okay, this is not going to be that easy to check. So, wait. Do I have a... No, I don't have a finished version of the whole fucking shitty thing. That sucks. I suck. This tier list was also way less organized. So, okay. So last time, I guess it was more RTA. Oh, wait, that's pretty big. Last time it was more RTA focused than I did right now because a whole bunch of those units that you see over here are more RTA related. We kept kind of consistency with like Jian high up, Tian Lang in highest tier, Nefti's highest tier. Yeah, I don't really have a screenshot. Oh, wait, do you guys actually see this? I don't see it. Why is Light Phantom Deep? I think I put uh, some units as other units because I couldn't find them or some shit. I did make that list a lot faster than this one. Oh, Maximilian uh, was the Dark Phantom Thief. Yeah, Chroma definitely went down. Lima kind of stayed the same. Grown kind of in there. I think these units around the middle are kind of same, same-ish. I had Fermion a lot lower, and Miyang, I had those units a lot lower last time. Lucifer, I had pretty high up last time as well. Dark Demon kind of uh, lower down, mainly because of more counters and stuff. Yeah, I feel like the list somewhat is similar, but somewhat different as well. Interesting, interesting. Why is the Dark Bison? Uh, this was made exactly one year ago. So, one year ago, Dark Bison didn't get this buff yet. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end the list for now.